Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. And this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with the words, future doorways. Future doorways. Or you can say future openings. I remember on the Mount of Transfiguration in Luke chapter 9, the Bible says now, now Jesus went there with his disciples, of course, to go and pray. And they had to make a choice. I mean, they became spectators, but he was the participant. And then here's the interesting thing. The Bible says, now as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was changed and all those other things. And the Bible says something very critical. Moses and Elijah appeared. Now Moses is dead and Elijah is also dead. So what, what's the appearance for? They're supposed to be dead. But the Bible says, now as he prayed, Moses and Elijah appeared. They came down. They were sent to come and talk to Jesus. And guess what? what they were doing. They were t the Bible specifically said in Luke chapter 9 that they came to speak to him about his disease. That means his death. That is the challenges he was going to go through, the warfare he was going to go through, the, all the things that he was going to go through. They came to speak to him about his disease. So you know one thing? The prayer life of Jesus opened a doorway for him to see into the future. All I'm trying to say is that prayer brings revelation. Prayer has the ability to open up tomorrow for us. Prayer has the ability for us to make us, even though we are standing in today, look into tomorrow and make some projections. Prayer brings us information from the future to our present. Prayer has a way of, of, of invading the future and lightening up the future and making us see what the future is all about giving us a revelation of the future. Now, if you read the Bible all throughout, you know, Isaiah and all those other things, now, I mean, uh, they, 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 they could see into the future. I mean, it was prophetic, you say, yes. But they, mind you, they were also intercessors. Habakkuk said, I will stand upon my watch, and then I will see what God will say to me. And guess what he was told? For the vision is for an appointed time, and though it tarries, wait for it. So prayer has the ability to unlock the future unlock the screens of the future and give us insight or give us access to future information and for us to be able to apply them in our present to get an understanding of what tomorrow is going to be like prayer has that power so prayer doesn't only uh, level us to this uh, where we are right now but prayer also transports us prayer also has the power to transport us into tomorrow and make us cut glimpses of tomorrow not everything concerning tomorrow, because for we know in part and we prophesy in part. But at least prayer gives us the ability to, to visit and have glimpses of the future. This is what the, the Bible said. They came to speak to him about his disease. Now, Jesus was not dead yet, but he was about to die. And so they came to talk to him. So his prayer power granted him access to some information from above. Information from above that God had to send some people to come talk to him. So prayer has the power, you know, to open up our future, light up our future for us. So even though we're standing today, by our prayer power, we can invade tomorrow and say some things into tomorrow and not only invade tomorrow, but tomorrow can also come down to our present by opening the pages, opening the books, opening the chapters for us to see and for us to be advised and for us to be warned or for us to be cautioned or for us to be, to be, to be informed and encouraged. So the power of prayer transcends our present and lands in our tomorrow. So prayer has the power to, 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 to take us right from where we are into tomorrow. So sometimes we need to understand that prayer is not just a wishy-washy mumbo-jumbo that we, we engage in, but prayer is more. If you remember when Jesus was saying, he said, when you pray, he said, and deliver us from evil, and deliver us from evil, not delivered us, not the past, but the present and the future. 
So prayer has power to invade our future. The Bible says, now as he prayed, messengers were sent to come talk to him about things that were about to fall, things that were about to happen, things that were going to take place in his life. You see, you will never know the power of prayer until you engage in it. You can pay lip service to prayer until you begin to pray because prayer unlocks the future. Prayer gives us glimpses of the future. So prayer can become doorways for tomorrow. Well, it's up to you to decide to pray or not. The choice is yours. See you later.